Because, well, I can, but then I need your per written permission from you and your parents. So if I don't give you permission, then I wave my hand on, like, the camera. <laughs> I don't care. I want to continue. I heard you like every kid's voice. Oh, I Remember, like, if you ever watch the news, they'll like show people and their faces are blurred out. So you'll show the bodies, but their faces are blurred out. Do you change their voices too? Yep. Oh. All right. So, um, one of the things I just wanted to go over with you is um, relative distances and energies of the energy levels. So when we looked at this nice little handy dandy diagram, all the energy levels are equally spaced out. Well, that's not true. <coughs> if you were actually to draw the relative distances, you've got your nucleus down here, then you have the 1s. There's a big gap between the 1s and the 2s. And a smaller gap between the 2s and the 2p. We stopped at 3s. So you can just keep going on Yeah, you could build on that other one if you want. So you fill. Then you fill the 2s, then you fill the 2p. Now, after the 2p comes the 3s. And the gap gets even smaller. Yep. And there's a smaller gap between the 3s and the 3p. And even a smaller gap between the 3p and the 3d. How many, are there? How many d's are there? Five. 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 And everything would be wonderful if everything was as nicely spaced as this. But something bad happens when you get to the fourth energy level. The fourth energy level overlaps with the third. So instead of the 4s starting up here, the 4s actually starts right here. Between the 3d and 3d? Wait, between 3d and 3d? Between the 3d and 3d. Between the 3 and the 3 d is with the 4s. And then comes the 4p. Then we draw the 4D. And now you should probably just stop and watch before your frustration gets the better of you. Close to the nucleus, everything is spaced out nice and neat. As you get further up, the orbitals <coughs> get really closely together. And it doesn't become quite as neat. You always go with the lowest available orbital. That's why the 4s is filled before the 3d. But not only does the fourth energy level overlap with the third, the fifth overlaps with the fourth as well. So the fifth energy level comes in right here. There's the 5s. No, I've stopped now. Here's the 5p. So up here, it gets very confusing as what do you fill next, what do you fill next. And that's why we have this handy dandy chart to help us remember what do you fill when. So in the beginning, you're going to be relying on this chart a lot. And also, this is the reason why this 3d block is not down here. It's up here. The 4s is lower in energy than the 3d. Since it's lower in energy, we fill the 4s before we fill the 3d. 
So let's see if we can do one here. A little bit more complicated one. Let's do titanium. There's 22 electrons. I give you two of them because invariably when I tell everybody only use pencil, someone uses pen. And then like, oh crap, I wrecked mine, can I have another one? I say, there you go, you've got two of them. I don't know there's really no. I don't have one. I give you two because someone always loses one or wrecks one. Or it comes to me next year and say, hey, you got one of those? And they're like, yes, I do. Okay, so. 22 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One in each. 8, 9, 10. 11, 12. 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18. So after you fill the 3P, then what do you do? 4S. 1920. After you fill the 4S, then you go to the 3D. 1, 2. Make sure that they're parallel. Either they're both up or they're both down. You don't have to put them in the first two boxes. You can put them there. You can put them there. How you write this is 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4s2, and then 3d. So you write the 4s before 3d? Yep, write them in the order of your energy. Have a great afternoon. See you, manana. Hey, you too. We meet.